because again they are, they are the two uh, strongest pairs so this is the Australia uh, Aussie CAD for the April the 11th and remember when we looked at the Canadian dollar the CAD versus the dollar we saw that there is some intervention that has taken place and it, as you see all this when they start selling the Canadian against the dollar they're selling it against the Australian you can see all of them all the intervention started at the same time look at this you don't see this this kind of perpendicular move this kind of spike from 93 to 93 to 94 100 pips in five minutes that is a central bank doing that and you can see it also in the CAD yen it's as if they are a carbon copy of each other. That, uh, there is the move. You can see it also in the CAD pound. And you can see it here in the daily chart. You can see that this kind of reversal candle. And that's, look at this here. I mean, nobody's going to buy that Canadian against the, the British pound like this unless it is, as I said, intervention. And that's why we should be careful about going long the Canadian, like I said to you before, uh, unless we are sure that we're having a continuation to the upside. Because again, this means they are selling the Canadian. This is selling the Canadian. So we should be looking for a continuation up. So just be careful with the CAD. So in this case, when I go back to the Aussie CAD, we don't have this intervention in the uh, uh, this now they are they are buying the Australian dollar and they are selling the Canadian. So if that's the case, that's what we want to do. We want to be looking at buying the Australian dollar and selling the Canadian. And on the major trend on the weekly, there is the move. And But in this case now, it's getting to coil. It's the opposite of the... Uh, megaphone now it's coiling to give us a, a direction move so that is a probable indication that we might be continuing uh, to move higher so let's see our daily chart what is the daily chart Ninety-three eighty-six. It made a high of ninety-three ninety-two. Well, it's not bad. So in the Aussie CAD, our buying point can be ninety-three eighty-six. Okay, and we're looking for, a, as I said, a continuation to the upside. This this means that they are selling the uh, Canadian dollar and they are buying the uh, Australian, and that probably is because so with that. I think our shorting point remains the same which is the that was the breakout to the upside here so that that point is now going to be our shorting point anywhere over here is still would 
still keep this trend to the upside so we are going to short it below 92.87 So from last week, our short was 92.61, so I'm just going to lift it 20 points. I mean, that's all what it is. Uh, structure point. There isn't, I mean, this is just, I mean, the structure point is far away somewhere around the 95.80 level 95 95.78 so the structure long is 95.78 95.80 okay so let's see how it stops now so we are going to go long what was my long point 93.86 we can use our stop the 93.24 so it's going to be a little bit of a big stop but this was our stop from last week and this was our buying point also from last week so we're going to use that as a reversal point or 93.24 and the short stop if we go short below 92.78 92.87 I'm sorry you can put the stop right there uh, 93.10 So your short stop is 93 then. Okay? Now the structure short, God knows we're far away from the structure short here. I mean, but anyway, let's take it. Structure short is 91.94. Okay, so this is the uh, Aussie CAD. We're going to go long above 93.86. We're going to go short below 92.87. Our structure long is 95.80. Our uh, structure short is 91.94, which is far away from. Uh, and the long stop, if we go long above 93.86, our stop is below 93.24. And if we're going to go short below 92.87, our stop is above 93.10. Okay? I'm going to save the recording. I'm just going to turn the mic off for one second.